So I'm not going to sing this time. <laughs> this is just a vlog. Um, I wanted to talk about confidence, actually, and um, my struggles with it. Because believe it or not, even though I do like put random videos and lives and stuff online, I am actually an extremely shy person. And some days I struggle more with my confidence than others. Today is one of them because I just do not feel pretty today. I mean, not that I think I'm ugly ever, but today I just don't want to be on camera. Uh, so I'm pointing it at my Christmas tree. And uh, my Christmas tree might be a little shabby um, because of uh, the cats. They keep getting up there and messing it up and all that and just being cats. Um, but, you know, since I'm starting up YouTube again, I've explained this before, like, for my subscribers. Um, and, of course, I'm putting this on Facebook, but we're transferring it to YouTube until we can get some stuff worked out. So this is mainly for the YouTube audience, but, um, yeah, Facebookers, y'all can listen to. Um, anyway, so this, this, this vlog is about confidence and... Um, I've always kind of struggled with it, um, most of my life because, uh, as a young person, I was made fun of a lot because I, um, I was born with congenital cataracts. I, uh, have had several eye surgeries. I had a weight problem, still have a weight problem, um, I mean, I'm not one of those people that, you know, you could that go on my 600 pound life, even though they need love too. you know, I would never be mean to a person for what they look like or if they're huge or if they're not. I mean, that really doesn't matter to me. I'm worried about who you are and how you treat people. That's what matters to me as far as, you know, all of that. Um, I look way past what people look like. Um, but I was very harshly, um, made fun of. And of course y'all know, a lot of y'all know the story about that's why I got into rock because it helped me through things and blah, 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 blah. So, um, and why I, you know, love music the way that I do, just in general music the way I do. Um, because it gave me a voice when I felt I had none. And like the only time people weren't making fun of me uh, is when I was singing. Um, and that was, uh, in quite, well, I did have friends and stuff. I'm not saying that everybody in the world was just out to get me and out to make fun of me. Um, but I guess that's, that's where I, where I felt like, um, I was valuable because of, um, the things that choir teachers would say and then different, um, you know, times in my life, like the time we went, went to Nashville to be on that show and I almost got signed. And you can confirm that story with my mom. I'm not lying about it. Um, I came very close a couple of times. And then there was another um, incident where I went into another talent competition and they called me back, but I didn't go because I found out. And it's not Solon's fault. <laughs> if he hears this... Um, they had came to, I think, it, yeah, it was Macomb, and then came to, um, I don't remember what the name of this one was, but they had come to a, a hotel to set it up, and then if you won, of course, you went on a show, and blah, 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 and then they'd have talent agents, and blah, 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 just like the first thing. Um, I got good reviews from the judges there, because the judges would watch you, and then you'd go over and shake their hands, and blah, 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 blah. Well, I got a call back. Because if they really wanted you, you know, to continue, they would call you back. And I got a call back and I, I turned it down because I found out I was pregnant with my first child. And so um, I was just like, oh, you know, I really can't afford it right now. I can't afford to travel. I can't, you know, so I just left it alone. So, I mean, there's been there's been times and, you know, I may have eventually had to deal with the people, well, you know, you can't sing this way and look that way. Like that other video that I showed of another lady who was always really into music and it was the only thing that she was really good at. Now with me, things I'm good at, um, music, talking to people, 
not, I mean, not talking to people, listening to people, um, and trying to help them with their problems or whatever and cooking. Other than that, I'm very clumsy. I, uh, <laughs> I, um, ew, have trouble paying attention. I have trouble remembering things, you know, whatever. Um, but I guess the basic point to this video is, um, for those on YouTube that want to insult me, um, I've had people try before. It hasn't stopped me. I have still made videos with me singing. Um, there are more people on YouTube that enjoy them than those that do not like them. Um, so, you know, close your eyes and listen or, you know, just go ahead and make your little comments because I will joke with you. Like it will not, I have been through so much and had my self-esteem shredded so horribly throughout my life to where there's literally nothing you could say that would, you know, just make me give up on singing and life or, or anything, you know, and it's not about like, I want to make sure people understand. I don't make the videos with me singing because I'm trying to go back and get the dreams that I lost or da da da. I do it because I love it. I do it because it is a hobby of mine and because singing is actually calming for me. And I do it a lot. I mean, you can ask my kids. If I'm not making videos and I'm doing housework, I sing. I do it literally all day. So, I mean, it's it's just something that I really enjoy doing. I need to take the time to learn an instrument besides just drums. Now, um, when I was younger, I actually did... Um, Someone, one of the churches I went to had started a smaller church and, um, I played drums there and sang at the same time. Like they would set up a mic by the drum set and I would sing and play drums. That was pretty cool. Cause I mean, you usually don't see that combination. Um, but I've gotten kind of rusty on drums now. Like my oldest child completely surpasses me when it comes to percussion. So he's like amazing. Um, but yeah, so basically, one of, another reason why I'm making this video is just people really, people need to think before you just insult someone or, or just think someone's not going to be good at something because of the way they look or maybe they're not an interesting person because they, they're quiet or they, you know, they don't talk very much or whatever. You know, people that have really gotten to know me, um... I can be very chatty, very talkative um, when I'm comfortable. If I'm in a situation, like any kind of social situation, I am quiet at first. Um, I've been known to be rather quiet in a crowd full of people if it's in a public setting. Um, it's something that I've tried to work on. Um, I've had someone come up to me before and... Um, like, cause I guess I looked uncomfortable or something and they came up to me and they're like, do you need to step outside a little bit? Um, you know, just get away from the commotion. And it was actually at a church function where this happened. And, and I actually did appreciate that. Um, even though honestly, sometimes I'd rather just kind of hide in the corner and not be noticed, believe it or not, because I, I, I can be very painfully shy and a lot of it is due to, um, I mean, I've, I've healed from all the stuff that happened to me that has damaged my self-esteem. Uh, I actually went through something recently, um, some things over the past year that have, um, broke me, I guess I would say in a lot of ways, but I, um, not going to go into all that because I'm healing now and, um, everyone involved is healing and it's, um, I don't know. I guess it, it it was just another way um, for the devil to try to um, destroy me and destroy my family. And unfortunately, sometimes he will use your own self and other people and their emotions and everything else to tear you down and keep and get your eyes off of what God's purpose is for your life. And, um, I went through a lot of that, but in order to do anything that God requires of you, 
You have to trust him. And I don't even know where this is coming from, honestly. I mean, I know it, I just feel like I need to say these things. This is this wasn't even what this video was about. But um, if you're dealing with anxiety or self-esteem issues, and you know that there's something that you're supposed to do, and you know that God wants you to do that thing, Honestly, it helps so much if you just trust him. Trust that he made you the way you are for whatever reason he made you that way. Um, I know for me, there's been people that I've been able to relate to that have worse anxiety, worse have dealt with worse depression, who have completely isolated themselves that I've talked to over line, online or whatever. That, I, that I've been able to sort of, you know, and it's it, it, it's not me. It's just me, you know, doing what I felt to do or whatever. But it's, um, if you think of it that way, it it does help. Um, you know, you're, you are the way you are for a reason. Like if you have something physically wrong with you, like me, for instance, um, the fact that I've always struggled with my weight are, um, because actually the women in my family – are, um, I guess we have slow metabolisms. I don't know, but so many of us have struggled with, with weight issues and I'm just like nervously doing this to my arm. I don't know why I do things like that, but whatever. Um, we've all, um, well, not all of us, but a lot of us, uh, has been something that we've struggled with. Um, so that combined, you know, with my eyes being the way they are and being, you know, made fun of because of that is just, and I used to, um, like a lot of the times because I didn't see well, I think a lot of thing that contributed to it is I always kind of felt, I used to get yelled at by people, like if I was in the way or whatever. Um, and then one person finally one day said, oh, you know, I just now thought about the fact that you don't see well. And I'm sorry, you know, that I, oh, excuse me, burped, um, that I've been fussing at you or whatever because I just, I didn't think about it. Um, you got to be careful how you treat people. I mean, we're not perfect. I mean, I know in my bad moments I have said and done a lot of horrible things to people and, you know, but you can't just... Hey, Amy, you can't just um, give up and not and hide because, I mean, that's something that I struggle with. Like, I will feel like I'm going to do things that are scary for me and then I will get out and do them for a while and then I'll hide again. Like, I'll go back into hiding or I'll, I'll um, struggle with a lot of self-esteem issues and I'm trying not to break down. I need to end this video because... I'm not really wanting to cry right now, but, um, honestly, you need to just do stuff that you feel you need to do. And, um, that's what something that I'm going to start trying to do a lot more. And I'm not talking about just YouTube videos, whatever. I'm there. I go with my hand again. Um, that's just a hobby basically. Um, and I like interacting with people, like if they can relate to anything or, um, and there's actually a song I wrote that is on YouTube somewhere. I don't just do covers. There was, um, there was a song I wrote and it was on there and I put, I don't know, it's like way down the videos, but I wrote it when I was a teenager and it was really cheesy. But <laughs> I got to try to get back into that too, but yeah, so basically, you know, this is just hopefully help somebody. And I didn't even intend on going where I went with this video. It just kind of happened all of a sudden. Um, I really just wanted to explain to people on YouTube that, you know, you're not going to hurt my feelings if you say, you know, certain things. Because I, I do know how to not let it sink in and how to have fun with it. But uh, anyway, um... I just got through making Micah some grilled cheese. He wanted some grilled cheese. And then here in a minute, I got to make supper. 
We are having sloppy wands. Um, instead of sloppy joes, we are having sloppy wands. And what they are is instead of doing the red sauce for the sloppy joes, you put nacho sauce. And those are are pretty good. So, and another reason I make these long vlogs and videos, I really wanted to start it up again because of the whole pandemic thing. And because, you know, a lot more people are watching videos now and wanting to interact more online. So I'm like, yes, let's put some positivity in here. So, but anyway, I'm going to end this video because I got some more stuff to do. And um, I love y'all. And you know what? Keep your heads up. No matter what anybody says to you or no matter what you've gone through. Because as long as you're breathing, it is not too late to be a better version of yourself.